another space exploration mission from NASA. This time, the craft known as OSIRIS-REx will spend the next two years chasing down an asteroid called Bennu. It's of particular interest because, like many asteroids, it has changed little since the birth of our solar system four and a half billion years ago. The asteroid known as Bennu is about 500 metres across, about twice the size of a large sports stadium. It orbits around our sun slightly slower than the Earth, but still at more than 28 kilometres a second. Once Osiris-Rex catches up with Bennu, it will make a slow and careful approach. It will then deploy an instrument called the touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism. It's a bit like a vacuum cleaner, designed to work in close to zero gravity using a blast of nitrogen gas to dislodge, then suck up samples from the asteroid's surface. With its precious cargo on board, the spacecraft will then begin a two and a half year return journey to Earth. It's going to help us understand how the solar system formed. It's going to inform our understanding for the potential for life in the solar system on Earth and elsewhere. But it also advances our more practical goals of understanding the resources of the uh, near-Earth solar system as well as the hazards. No large asteroids are known to pose any immediate threat to Earth, but new ones are found every year and their orbits can change over time. Scientists also warn that smaller asteroids, such as the one which exploded in the atmosphere over Russia three years ago, can still be very destructive. All these missions are important because they are giving us the, uh, the confidence that we can actually go get closer to an asteroid and then start doing something to change the orbit. If all goes well, once back on Earth in 2023, only a small part of the asteroid will be tested. Three quarters of the sample will be set aside for future researchers for the science questions we haven't figured out to even ask yet and the science laboratory instruments that we haven't even developed yet. And that's really the rich legacy of a sample return mission. For now, the research teams need patience. Their spacecraft won't reach Bennu for another two years, and only then will the scientific mission begin in earnest. Tarek Vasley, Al Jazeera.